Uh, the prodigy frontman Keith Flint has died at the age of 49. I'm a fire starter, top of me fire starter. Royal singer, famous for his uh, hits including Firestarter, Out of Space, Breathe, uh, was found this morning at his home in Essex. Uh, Keith Flint formed the band the Prodigy in 1990, along with producer Liam Howlett. They met in a nightclub. It quickly became one of Britain's most popular electronic music groups. The band had just announced that they headlined a music festival in Norway this summer. Uh, let's bring in the broadcast from DJ Edward Adu, who joins us from Cricklewood in northwest London. Edward, welcome to you. Um, 49. I'm shocked. When I got the message, um, I grew up listening to The Prodigy. I remember when I wasn't supposed to, but when I was 13 and 14, went to my mates' parties and they'd be blaring out, everybody's in the place, your love. All those kind of iconic rave anthems. And I think The Prodigy were there at the time with rave culture, which more or less, it kind of cemented togetherness. It was kind of people powered to the youth generation and The, and the Prodigy were part of that. And I mean, they did later tracks like Breathe and all their albums, all their albums were just seminal and iconic. I mean, for anyone who's an original raver who went out to a club to a festival and danced to a Prodigy record, like me today, um, it's going to be a very sad and soulful time. I mean, he was 49 and, you know, I never got the chance to meet him. But in terms of their music and um, kind of his legacy, um, it's incredible. I mean, Firestarter, I mean, it's just the way the track's produced. What, one thing which was unique about Keith and what the Prodigy always did, they were consistent and they changed their sound. And whether you're 20 or whether you're 50, and those old ravers who saw them back in the day in Essex, Camden Palace, wherever they were out and about, they can always remember the good times. And Keith certainly was an ambassador to, to, to rave culture. Yeah. Edward, I don't know if you're just obscuring your microphone there, but you're sort of coming in there. It might just be the fact it's a Skype, but uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know if you can adjust it slightly. Six number one albums, which tells its own story of consistency over the years, I suppose. Yeah, very consi consistently. And I think one good thing about what the Prodigy were, they were, just, they were, they were an underground act to start off with, and then they crossed over. And they, they, they kind of related to everybody in, in, the, in the country, all ages, and, and most importantly, all ravers. And um, yeah, I'm still in shock. Can't believe we're talking about this. Well, also as well, when we flashed up his image, uh, it, you know, this is the 1990s, to actually project a look which is unique to him, not necessarily yeah. the image you're looking at now, but some of the others. I mean, that just as a, as a feat of presentation is quite something to pull off. Yeah, no, of course. I mean, that iconic look, and I suppose it's kind of that rebellious streak of I'm going to be who I am, and I'm going to have that look, which maybe sort of society or the mainstream may not like, but he did it, and he didn't conform. And I think that's what was unique about him. And the, and the Prodigy, they didn't conform. I mean, when you hear their tracks, it's, it's whether it's raging, it's those bass lines, it's, it, it kind of sort of conjures up what, I suppose, sort of, they were in, I, I would call them the, the sex pistols of the rave culture. That influential? Definitely, definitely. I mean, in terms of what they did, I mean, for me, going back to growing up and listening to their tracks, Your Love, Everybody in the Place, Charlie Says, um, Breathe, and, I mean, they have even collaborated. They did a track with Cooler Shaker, which was out of this world. Uh, I think it was Narayan, I think, in 1997, and it was like, wow, is that is that how they can kind of progress and take their sound? I mean, certainly leaders in electronic music.